The top link software shown here is used to operate the Tower of Power controller in automatic or advanced mode. It will allow you to do automatic ramp silk profiles and also set other system parameters. It's a free download from our web page, but it does require the purchase of a communication cable through your retailer. The first step after installing the communication cable and also the software is to connect the cable to the laptop or desktop PC and to the other end to the back of the controller. After this is done, the next step is to establish communications. As you can see here, the communications is not established because the dot is not green. Simply press the communication setup and this dialog box will appear. Click the auto configure communication and it will search through your COM ports and let you know in this case it was found on port COM9. Simply click OK, the button turns to green and you have set up communications with your device. Now that communications have been established, we can configure the instrument by clicking the configure instrument button. As you can see it begins reading the data from your instrument and once that is done, uh, you will see in this case all the pre-programmed uh, MASH profiles, MASH steps 0, 1, 2, th and 3, and then on this tab uh, there's a possibility for up to four more. Up in this corner you will see the actual temperature that the sensor is reading, as well as the set point that the sensor is reading. To change the set point, you can, simply, you can either use it on the controller itself or just enter, uh, in this case, say 154 and click send set point and now it reads set, set set point there. To change the unit type, simply toggle between uh, Celsius and Fahrenheit and it takes a little second here and now the units are reading in degrees centigrade. Simply clicking that will change it back. Other parameters that can be uh, set are a calibration offset. If you have another instrument and you just want them to read exactly the same, you can enter a different variable like plus 0.1 degrees or minus 0.1 degrees, for example, and then send the offset. The steady state offset is used uh, in a uh, more advanced mode and we'll talk about that later. Uh, we also have some system uh, information. It tells you if you're running a current MASH profile which one you're running. Over on new we can run a new MASH profile. The current step profile is displayed and then also the minutes left in each step is displayed. Along the menu bar here, we've got read configuration from a file, save to a file, send a configuration to an instrument, and read in configuration from uh, an instrument. Uh, this allows you to uh, make settings on your instrument and import them into the software and vice versa. Uh, these two dialog box or these two uh, uh, buttons allow you to save MASH profiles for each of your recipes to a file. Uh, and it will save eight at a time and then you can also read them uh, from your file. So essentially you can have unlimited number of uh, MASH profiles that you save. If along the way you get something in the controller uh, that's not operating properly after some changes you've made, uh, we have a button here to restore to factory default. Simply pressing that button uh, we'll pop up a dialog box asking if you'd like to do that. We'll go ahead and say yes. And you can see it's sending all the parameters to the instrument uh, that are the factory default. In just a minute here it'll pop up a dialog box that it's complete. And we just simply say OK. That's the factory default, uh, default reset. Now we'll talk a bit about the MASH profile uh, setup. For each uh, MASH profile we have up to eight steps, steps 0 through 7. 
and uh, the unit comes equipped or set for uh, a few sample programs that you can use uh, for a default. So what we have first is the initial set point. So what you will do is uh, say for example you want to do 122 degree dough in or protein rest. Uh, you will bring your mash up in manual mode uh, within a couple degrees or so of uh, the set point and uh, do your dough in. We recommend of course that you do your dough in without your pump running and with the controller uh, in the uh, reset or off mode. That will allow the grain to uh, absorb all the water and purge all the air out of the grain. The first step is always a rest step and uh, this is going to be your 122 and it'll rest at, uh, for in this case, 15 minutes. After that we're going to ramp and we're going to ramp uh, from uh, up to 154 and uh, we're going to ramp uh, at a rate of one and a half degrees per minute. So to calculate the time we take 154 minus 122 and divide by 1.5. That would be 21 minutes. So it will take us 21 minutes to ramp from 122 to 154 degrees. Next we want to soak for uh, one hour. So we're at 154 degrees, we're at one hour and zero minutes. Next we want to ramp again up to a mash out temperature of 168 degrees. So again we have to calculate the ramping time and uh, we take 168 minus 154 and divide it by 1.5. That would be nine minutes. Next we want to have a rest for 10 minutes at 168. After that I'm going to tell the controller I'm done. So I go to last step and I say step four. And that's the basic uh, principle on how you create a mash profile. And if you notice you start with a rest and then you have a ramp and a soak. A ramp and a soak. And you simply just do your calculation based on your ramp rate. Uh, you subtract the uh, two temperatures and divide it by the ramp rate and that's your time that you enter. And the controller will follow that. If you've got a more complex mash profile in mind uh, that will have more steps than will fit into the, the seven steps here, uh, that's not an issue. Uh, our last step can be uh, uh, le step seven or step six and what we would uh, simply do instead of at the end here with a link profile, instead of profile end, we would say link it to profile one or profile two, etc. So when we get to step four, uh, this would then go over to match profile one and begin uh, it. So as you can see, uh, what we've done here for uh, match profile two is we've gone through a pretty complex uh, match profile and it ends at step seven, but then I have it linking to mash profile three and it continues on uh, all the way through mash out and then I just have to tell it that I'm going to have it end at step two. And that's how we uh, link these together so you can virtually have an unlimited number of steps and using the save uh, configuration to a file you can save these mash profiles and just pull them up later. In this segment we'll show you how to uh, save a configuration to a file. It's quite simple. We just click save configuration to a file and it'll pull up uh, your uh, uh, Windows Explorer and you can essentially just save it as a uh, CSV file uh, in, in Microsoft Excel. So you would just name it uh, uh, whatever you uh, want to name it. Uh, I think there's a default in there, user configuration, but you can call it uh, logger profiles or AL profiles, for example. And then you simply click save, and uh, in this case, we just overwrite what we have there. And then uh, the reverse uh, for reading a configuration from a file. Uh, in this case, we'll just go back to factory defaults, and uh, that will read that into the profile. 